Hi. So let's say you want to make an app wherein you have your friends numbers listed on buttons and if you click on one of one of these buttons your WhatsApp opens and the chat window with this friend federal friend opens up and you can start chatting with them. So let's see how do we do that. Uh, the way this app will work is if I click on this button then I will be taken to the next screen. Now the next screen is going to be in this uh, WhatsApp and uh, now I can start typing my messages here. Uh, that is what we wanted to do, right? So this is the way this will work. And now let's move into our coding and see how do we make this happen. So here I have made an app which is having three buttons. It's a normal linear layout with the orientation as vertical, gravity as center. And that's why you have three buttons in the center, Federer, Nadal and Serena. So these are three of my friends and uh, if I click on these buttons then all the three buttons direct me to WhatsApp and directly they take me to that chat with these friends of mine. Now we will see how do we do that. So what we need to do is there are these three buttons, uh, these three definitions of these buttons which have been given here and then we have put a set on click listener here as simple as that and then here is the actual code which makes it happen it's a very small code the first thing is you have to put a uri class object here what is uri uri is a universal resource identifier uh, to explain it uh, it will take a lot of time if you really get into the explanation of uri but uh, for time being you can understand that uri basically is that anything on this in this world if it is existing on internet it will have some kind of address and this URI class here which is provided by Android uh, this class helps you to take care of those addresses so in this case we are going to talk about WhatsApp and uh, we will be basically WhatsApp is a messaging app so what this this code which you see here is actually a manipulation of two things what we are doing is we are making use of this URI SMS2 and the WhatsApp app responds to this URI right so if you if you have an address which is SMS2, URI which is SMS2, then WhatsApp will, will definitely, you know, understand and will definitely respond to this URI, right? And then what we're doing is we are uh, putting a URI here and uh, which is SMS2. Please ensure the URI is kept as SMS2 only. And uh, for that matter, you know, you also need to remember that this is not something which you decide, which this is something which has been decided by uh, you know the, the entire internet community so there are a lot of URIs for different purposes and you don't get to decide this you need to just know that this is the URI for SMSs so here you need to put a number here one two three four any, any number ten digit number of a mobile phone you can put here and then the next line we are just making an intent the this is an implicit intent wherein we are putting an action sent to here and then we are passing URI here like a data so URI is being passed as a data and then next thing which you need to do is if you want your messages to be di taken directly uh, if you want your your whatsapp to open with at, in the at the same place where you want to start typing uh, your messages to your friend then you have to do i dot set package com dot whatsapp right so if you don't put this uh, still you know it will open up but then you might see an intent chooser or in, uh, uh, you know like if you you must have seen there's this dialogue which opens up which asks you uh, which app you want to utilize to finish this action right in your mobile phone so if you want that not to happen you want directly to you know straight away reach to call your whatsapp then you need to set the package here like this com dot whatsapp and then you start the activity uh, once you do this you will be able to perform the action the way you wanted to perform it uh, I've done the same thing in next buttons also, nothing new here. So that's how you can make it. Do let me know if uh, you have any questions and please subscribe to this channel so that I'll get encouraged and make more such videos. Thank you.